Hello, Dr. Sumika here. Welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we are learning all the addition strategies that are necessary for our elementary learner to master in order to become proficient in addition. I'll be sharing nine research proven strategies and best practices in addition that are highly recommended for our elementary learner to master to become proficient in addition. Addition strategy number one, draw a picture. This is the most common strategy or the most common method that most elementary learners use or apply when trying to solve addition problems because it allows our elementary learner use pictures, drawings, or illustrations to represent numbers. So, and it also serves as a visual aid to our elementary learner. For example, if we have to solve the addition problem six plus three, this strategy simply calls for drawing six circles and drawing three counters or three circles and adding up these counters or these pictures together or counting up the pictures to solve the problem. Addition strategy number two, tally marks. The tally mark strategy is a method in which tallies are used to keep record of a running or continuous count. Tally marks are usually a representation of frequency. The number of times data or an event occurs in an experiment. Tally marks is a critical statistical tool that helps with data analysis for tallying or keeping score of given results or the frequency of a number and its occurrence. Again, tally simply means to use a mark to record counting. Addition strategy number three, counting on. The counting on strategy is also a very common and a very frequently used strategy by elementary learners. In this strategy, we take the larger of the two addends to add and count on with the other addend to get the sum or total. For example, if the number sentence is seven plus two, we will identify seven as the larger addend and then count on two more. So eight, nine, and then get our answer. Using our fingers to add is especially helpful in the counting on strategy. What is the double strategy in math? This is when you add or subtract from a double fact you know in order to solve another problem. For example, we can use the double strategy to help us in the doubles plus one strategy. What does this mean? If we know that seven plus seven is 14, when we come across another fact like seven plus eight, we can rely on our prior knowledge of the doubles seven plus seven and add one more number to figure out seven plus eight as being 15. Addition strategy number five, the commutative property of addition. This is a common addition strategy and this strategy simply states that changing or reversing the order of addends in an equation or in a number sentence does not change the sum or the total. For example, four plus two is equal to six. If we reverse the order of the addends and it becomes two plus four, the sum or the total is still going to be six. This principle is important for our elementary learner to understand in order to be proficient in math. Reversing or changing the order of addends in an equation or in a sentence does not change the sum or the total. Addition strategy number six, number line. Using a number line is a frequent and a commonly used method in math. When using a number line to add a positive number, 
we simply move the point to the right of the number line. Similarly, to add a negative number, we move to the left of the number line. A number line is just that. It is a straight horizontal line with numbers placed at even increments along the length. Now, it is not a ruler. So the space between each number doesn't matter. But the numbers included on the line determine how it's meant to be used. Addition strategy number seven, 10 frames. The use of 10 frames is a common method that is encouraged for our elementary learners to apply. In this method, it is important for our elementary learners to understand what a 10 frame is. 10 frames are number two for teaching math that help our elementary learner develop number sense. What is number sense? Number sense is having a good intuition about numbers and their relationships. A 10 frame is simply a rectangle with 10 equal spaces. It has five spaces on top and five spaces on the bottom. And we use counters or math manipulatives less than or equal to 10 on the 10 frame. Addition strategy number eight, part, part, whole. The part, whole model or the part, part, whole model in math is a simple pictorial representation of a number that helps our elementary learners visually see the relationship and the connection between the numbers. A horizontal bar shows the whole number or the whole amount. And underneath it, an identical bar is split up or divided into pieces or parts to show the part or the breakup of the whole. It simply shows that two parts make up the whole and there is no necessary meaningful difference between the two parts. Therefore, there are only two parts of part whole or part part whole questions. Finding the whole or finding the part unknown. Addition strategy number nine, associative property of addition. This strategy is necessary for our elementary learner to master. In the associative property of addition, our elementary learners have to understand that changing the grouping of add-ins does not change the sum. It simply means that the sum or the total of three or more numbers remains the same regardless or irrespective of the way in which these numbers are grouped. It is important that our elementary learner attains proficiency in each of addition methods. In order to become proficient in addition and become sound mathematicians. To help us, I have created a chart with each of these strategies and activities in each strategy to help our elementary learner in attaining proficiency in each of these methods. Please visit my website to download your free copy of these charts and sets of practice activities in these addition methods. Thank you. See you in the next lesson.